If the science developed at Newcastle University gets the go-ahead, this will be a new chapter in human biology. Creating a human being from three people to stop a cellular defect from being passed on to the next generation. I think what we should be doing is trying to help families and women in particular have healthy children. I think we do a, a lot of different, there are a lot of different reproductive options available for women that carry genetic diseases and this is another option for women that carry mitochondrial DNA disease. The science is complex but the idea is simple. Mitochondria, the batteries inside cells, come from the egg. If a woman has defective mitochondria, so will her child. This technique takes the DNA out of a fertilised, defective egg and puts it into a healthy donor egg, which has had everything removed from it apart from the healthy mitochondria. The trouble is, a tiny part of the donor's DNA is still there, so the baby will have DNA from three people. Ask Nicola Bardet if that's a problem, and she'll say no. She has defective mitochondria. It killed her mother and has made many members of her family ill. If this new technique can wipe out um, mitochondrial disease, it is going to stop so much suffering and so much heartbreak. Um, I can't say how it can be anything but a good thing. If the Human Fertilisation and Embryology Authority recommends the technique should be used, the government will decide whether to change the law. There are those who say that would be wrong. There's been very little public debate about that for an issue so, uh, of such importance. So I'm hoping that the government will not simply just take the uh, HFEA's recommendation and rubber stamp it. The scientists say they're still two or three years away from being ready to create a baby from three people, but they insist it is the right thing to do. Gerard Tubb, Sky News, Newcastle.